What's up guys? We're back with another video. If you are new, if you are new here, my name is Sammy and we are the Mermaid Gang. This is where you can come and suspend your disbelief. I am your favorite manifestation coach and your favorite YouTuber. So if you would like for me to help you dissolve whatever's between you and your manifestation, go ahead and sign up for coaching with me right here. I am sorry if it's over because I can't tell. It looks like it is, but I don't know. It might not be. I won't really know until I get it in editing. Anyway, if you would like to become a channel member, I should have a button somewhere. And if I don't, there's a link in my description box. If you join my channel and become a member, we do members only videos. We do members only Q and A's. We do members only challenges. The basis of the members only is for challenges. We are currently doing a self concept challenge. So if you would like to join, we just started that a couple days ago when this video goes up. But uh, yeah, still, it, it'll, it'll still be going. It's fine. Okay. I know that I've talked about robotic affirming a lot, but there still seems to be confusion, mainly based on the video where I was talking about why we robotically affirm and that more repetition familiarizes the mind and creates what you want, right? Okay, whatever. There are some people that had an issue with that saying like, oh, well, it doesn't always take that much repetition or sometimes it doesn't take repetition at all. Of course, that's based on one, your assumptions, duh, two, it is based on your resistance. So yeah, while you could probably manifest a free coffee pretty fucking easily, um, it's not exactly the same as a grown up stressing over their rent, you know, or stressing over the person that cheated on them or the love of their life. It's not, you have different resistance based on experiences with the situation and other things, okay? So the repetition is more so for things that are very like, you feel like are hard for you to obtain, okay? Anything that you don't feel like is hard for you to obtain, of course it's not gonna take a lot of repetition. It's not gonna take a whole lot of familiarizing to the brain because it's already kind of familiar to you. It already is something that you seem, you see as attainable. So of course it's not gonna take a whole lot of repetition because you're already pretty much there with it. Another thing is the people that have assumptions that they manifest really quickly. Like in my case, I believe that I could manifest pretty much anything I want within like three days. There are other people who don't have that belief. Currently, can they create it and not have to use so much repetition? Absolutely. That's how the law of assumption works. But in a lot of cases, that is not what people believe, especially beginners. So yeah, repetition is the easiest, most feasible, most clear way for people to do that and for me to explain to people how to do that. Regardless, it depends on how familiar your mind is, how attainable it is to your mind, to you. If you think that it is pretty easily attainable or pretty easy to experience, then you're not going to need a lot of repetition. That is common sense. If you feel like it is something very hard, very far off, or it's something you've never experienced, then yeah, it's going to take some repetition to convince yourself that this is an experience you are one, able to have, and two, having. Now, next thing. Some people seem to have gotten the impression that I said you need to lock yourself away and never do anything except for affirm until you get what you want. <laughs> that is not what I said. I in many of the videos that I have filmed about robotic affirming, if you were there, if you watched them and if you listened, if you listened, um, I said, I want to be very clear. I said the times that you could be robotically affirming are when you are doing habitual tasks, when you are doing something that doesn't require a lot of conscious thought. So cleaning, um, I don't think you have to think real hard about how to wipe those counters down or load the dishwasher or wash the dishes. It doesn't take a lot of mental effort. Uh, showering. I think you know how to do that. So it doesn't take a lot of mental focus and effort. Your <laughs> most people, that's when their mind wanders the most in the shower. That's why there's a term called shower thoughts. So cleaning, showering, going on a walk. 
instead of listening to music or a podcast or whatever you listen to, if you go on walks, you could be affirming. Uh, when you wake up in the morning, you have thoughts, right? When you're brushing your teeth, you don't have to think about how to brush your teeth. You could be affirming um, instead of scrolling social media. And the time that you had to write those comments, you could have been affirming. If you had time to sit through my video and leave a comment, you had time to be affirming. Um, going to bed when you've put everything away, you're done with everything at night and you are laying down to fall asleep unless you literally just knock out as soon as you hit the pillow, you have time to be affirming. I don't know if the light's going in and out. I, sorry, I don't know. So in those times, that's when you can be affirming. I never said, don't do your job, affirm. Don't cook dinner or eat, affirm. Don't sleep, affirm. I literally never said any of that. I did not say that you had to be affirming from the second you opened your eyes to the second you closed them. I said there are times through the day where you are scrolling on social media, watching videos, clearly, uh, cleaning, walking, showering, sitting in a waiting room at some kind of appointment. Like there are times, you if you have time to be on your phone, to be looking at social media or anything like that, you have time to affirm. Now, if you have all these opportunities to affirm, but you are choosing not to because you've convinced yourself that that's just not feasible for you, um, then that's just not my problem at that point. Like, there's nothing I can do for you at that point. You're, if you're gonna find an excuse, if, if you want to find an excuse, you're going to find an excuse. That's on you. What I'm saying is, I robotically affirm any time that I don't need to use my brain to do whatever I'm doing. All those things I just mentioned, I affirm during all those times. Do I stop functioning in my life? No. Do I stop being a parent? No. Do I stop being a wife? No. I, draw, I will not affirm if I need to go give my child a bath or cook him dinner, take him somewhere, do his schoolwork. Obviously, I'm not neglecting my life to affirm. I'm saying that instead of scrolling on Instagram or TikTok, I affirm instead because that's the choice that I make. When I'm cleaning my kitchen, I know how to wipe my counters down. I know how to load my dishwasher. I don't have to put a lot of mental effort into that. I affirm. Um, if I'm watching a video that I've already seen a hundred times, I'll use it as a timer and I will affirm. If I, I go on walks, when I'm on a walk, instead of listening to music, I affirm. I just take, it's just like someone with a fitness routine. You just make the time to do it because it's important to you. You will find the time if it's important to you. And if it's not, then you'll find an excuse. And that's not my problem. I'm just telling you what I do. I never said to shut your whole life down to robotically affirm. Common sense would tell you that that's not a smart thing to do. I don't ever suggest you don't go to work so that you can affirm or don't take care of your responsibilities so you can affirm. I do not neglect my life to affirm. I affirm around my responsibilities. I make time when I'm not busy with those things, when I don't have a responsibility to take care of in that moment, I take as much time as I have to robotically affirm. And I take opportunities throughout my day where I know I don't have to put in a lot of brain power to affirm instead. If I know it's a situation where my mind is going to be wandering anyway, I affirm instead. That's all I'm saying. That is literally all I'm saying. So if you can't do that, if you have time to watch a video and comment and you choose to do that instead of affirm, then that is on you. Okay? So, yeah. I just wanted to clear those things up in a video because I lost the comments and that was too much to type. So yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we out.